they could have told you a dozen times what it feels like to have Parkinson's in precise graphic words, sparing no details, but you only knew the truth once the disease was inside your body. You can imagine the pain, the guilt, the shame, the humiliation, but you only know something once you've experienced it in your life. Life is our greatest test. Hello everyone, it's Karen. I just did a video on my channel where I talked about the best nonfiction book I've read this entire year. And I have just finished moments ago, the best literary fiction that I have read probably this quarter. I don't know, maybe this year, like this book is so good. Elena Knows by Claudia Pinero and it is translated by Frances Riddle. Claudia um, Pinero, she is best known for her crime fiction and I feel like this one definitely fits into that category, but I would definitely say it's more literary fiction. This book follows this older lady named Elena. She has been diagnosed with Parkinson's and her daughter recently has died as well. Her daughter was found hanging from um, like a bell tower in a, a church and basically everyone says that her daughter committed suicide. Well, Elena knows better. Her daughter would not have gone to the church when it was raining because she was so just terrified of being struck by lightning that that is not a place she would ever have gone ever. And she, um, Elena feels like people are not taking her seriously and that she needs to get to the bottom of what happened to her daughter. This book takes place over the course of a single day in which Elena goes um, across town to try and find this woman that her daughter had previously helped. And she feels like she doesn't like, you know, owing people things or taking debts or any like anything like that. But she feels that this woman kind of owes her daughter um, something because she feels her daughter has basically saved this woman's life and she's going to go there to see if she can help her or if she can get help kind of investigating the death of her daughter. What's really cool about the structure of this is as I said it's set over the course of a single day however because the main character has Parkinson's um, the viewpoint of this book is just very very narrowed in and it's like this very small world that the main character lives in and everything is basically dictated by her medication schedule so um there's a section of the book that talks about like it's like all within her first pill and then like her second pill and that's how um it is separated into sections throughout the story this is something that i just deeply connected to i want to be very conscious in this review that i'm only sharing my own story and not going into depth with the story of those around me but i will share that my dad has parkinson's so this book was like deeply deeply personal um to me and there's so many connections about the structure of things, the mindset, um, the symptoms and the way of life that definitely felt familiar to me um, or really were things that I had witnessed in my own life. One of the other things I want to say about this book is that it is set up in a very interesting way just as far as the dialogue. So it's very internal. Like most of the book is Elena and her thoughts and her memories and just like very internal. But there are times when she's engaging in dialogue with other people and it's not set up in the traditional way you would normally see dialogue. It basically is in just sections of italics and you kind of have to keep track of where the conversation is going back and forth between people because there's no like besides like a period at the end of the sentence, there's no other separation between who is speaking. So I just adored this book so much because I felt like there are a lot of themes within the book, but it didn't like, I feel like writers are always told to like show, don't tell. And I felt like the themes were evident like within the text and within the story, but then like it almost like embodied some of the themes, like as I shared about, you know, this experience of Parkinson's and just how like the focus of the book was only a single day and it was separated by um, medication um, times. Like it just like, I don't know, it just was this complete feeling and this like you were completely wrapped up in this story and like almost viewing the story from the eyes of someone who has Parkinson's. The first theme that I wanna talk about is very relevant to uh, our 
world today and that's bodily autonomy um so i think that there's a lot within this about like the autonomy that you have for your own body and the choices that you can make for yourself as far as like reproductive health and um other things like that that definitely plays into the story without giving too much away that's a big part of this um abortion and that sort of reproductive health bodily autonomy um but there's also this idea of the expectations that other people have for you which plays into that and then there's that there's this other idea of like bodily autonomy that's completely out of your control not due to laws or anything but just due to like uh things that your body will get um throughout the course of your life like coming down with parkinson's like that's not something you're in control of and so you are trapped and living in this body that is different than what you have lived in before and i think there's a sense of like mourning or loss that um is like that and i i don't mean that to sound ableist or anything but i think that because a lot of people who have Parkinson's were in an able body for so, so long. There is this mourning and this letting go and this like grieving for what they had. The other thing that was in here is the complexity of relationships because I think there's a lot of times where like a mother daughter relationship, for example, which is in the book, um, is just like uh, valued in this beautiful shiny way and um, everybody's experiences of diff of relationships are different and I just found that really really interesting because the main character Elena and her daughter they don't really get along so well they don't have the best relationship they're constantly arguing and there's a lot of put downs in both directions and while I would not be the biggest fan of Elena's daughter like most of the time, because I have a parent with Parkinson's, I can definitely kind of like see and have empathy for some of the ways that her daughter is feeling. And I'm not saying I identify with her or feel the same ways or act in the same ways, like God, please help me not to ever act like her daughter. Um, but I think that there is this ideal way of looking for someone, looking like thinking about somebody who is unwell and the way that you would like to treat them and then when they're like so close and so familiar and like somebody that you just have this like intimate connection to um and they're right in front of you and they have parkinson's sometimes the ways that you wish you would handle things are not the ways that you actually do Finally, there is this idea of mothering and how mothering could be something that's biological where you've given birth to a child and you mother them. Um, but just because you give birth to a child doesn't necessarily make you a mother. And then there's also this idea of how you could be a mother without ever giving birth to an actual child um, just because of the different ways that you could care for people in your family or your community that are a mothering sort of way without biologically being a mother. And I feel like those themes were kind of discussed in this book as well. So finally, I would recommend this to anybody that is interested in literary fiction. Um, it's very internal, slow paced, meditative sort of a book, um, but it is pretty short. So even if that's not your jam, you might be willing to take a risk and give this one a try if you're into crime writing or anything like that, just because it is a small risk with it being such a short book. Um, if you have someone in your life that has Parkinson's, um, then definitely I feel like you might be just somebody that would deeply connect to this book. Um, and finally, the thing that I would like to know is while I did not deeply connect like exactly to any of the characters in this book, it did really allow me to be seen and just to have conversations with my dad um, about the kind of how he experiences Parkinson's and just internal thoughts about how I interact with my dad when he has Parkinson's and stuff like that that came from this book. Um, so I am just curious if there are any books that have allowed you to feel seen in whatever part of life that you are currently in um, or have been in in the past. That being said, let me know if you guys have read this or if you plan to read it because I would love to chat about it with more people. I will see you soon. Bye.